Hey guys, and welcome to the Shindig Variety Show, our YouTube-based podcast from the Lost in the Groove Jam Van Fun. Uh, guys, please sure to be sure to check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash lost in the groove. It helps out our channel and also helps us get support, uh, as well as get to know you guys and learn about your stories and what kind of content you would like us to make fo- moving forward. Uh, so today... We're covering, God, the story with Gabby Petito and this whole uh, thing going on with Brian. Uh, I mean, this is this is a very, very sad story, very heart wrenching. And, you know, I mean, I wish we had more answers. You know, there's so many questions and there's so many things going on. We were touching base before about this thing where both families even though the cup you know they're both been engaged they don't want to have anything to do with each other it's like a cold shoulder going on and i don't know that is something to think about you know because i mean she just died i mean horribly and the families are not coming together i know i understand they're in different states but well it's also it's also consider this is that they're uh the investigation is pointing towards their son. So maybe their lawyer is telling them like, Hey, keep your distance, keep your mouth shut. Everything goes through me at this point. You have, you know, you want to make any statements to the public, you do it through me. That's a possibility. It's a, yeah. But honestly, you know, that's something probably uh, that we'll discuss over the coming weeks as we find out more. Um, yeah, you, you wanted to do more research like we we should do more research and learn a little more about the families because uh, your original theory about um, about what you know what you thought might be going on um, between the families between the kids their marriage um, that's it's really interesting to me I think uh, that would be worthwhile to dive into and then see what we can find out and bring it to the listeners yeah, there's an uh, there's an article from the U.S. Sun. I I don't know, I don't know that much about them. This was written by Katie Forrester. Uh, thank you, Katie. This article was actually very helpful, so much appreciated. Uh, one thing that she did was in this article was do a, a timeline, so we have a little bit of a picture as to what's going on. Uh, I, I think it's a good idea to kind of get a brief overview, so we. We kind of have the picture in our head what happened from June all the way uh, till now. I mean, we're in October. This stops in September. Uh, so kind of just a brief understanding. Gabby Petito was 22. I uh, was last seen on August 24th, leaving a hotel in Utah. Her Here is a timeline of Gabby Petito's disappearance. So on June 2021, Gabby Petito and her fi- fiance, Brian Laundry set off on a cross-country trip across the United States. July 4th, Gabby posts a photo of herself barefoot in Gove County, Kansas. I actually I think I saw that picture. Uh, July 8th, Gabby posts a photo of herself at the Grand Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. July 18th, Gabby and Brian post photos of themselves at Utah Zions National Park. Uh, August 12th, Bottery. So this was that video that we saw uh, that came up from the uh, Utah police uh, where they had a body cam that was on. And she was crying and she was sitting in the, you know, the police car. Then on August 19th, Gavin and Brian posted a video on their YouTube channel chronicling their trip. I didn't know they have a YouTube channel. I think I'm going to check this out. I don't know if it's been closed or anything like that, but that might actually be a little bit helpful. I don't want to pick into anybody's business. We just want to make sure to give you guys the most accurate information. So we know what we're saying Uh, on August 24th. Gabby is spotted leaving a hotel in Salt Lake, Utah. I'm assuming that's what they meant at the very beginning. On August 25th, Gabby FaceTimes her mom, Nicole Schmidt, for the final time. In a later police report, Schmidt said her conversations with her daughter revealed more and more tension between her and Brian. August 25th, Gabby also posts her last Instagram. No location is given. August 27th. Gabby is seen for what's believed to be the final time. Witnesses claim they saw Brian an explosive argument. 
Okay, I don't know what explosive means. That's a little bit vague. Which staff at a restaurant in Jackson Hole leaving Gabby in tears? Uh, do you want me to continue, or we, we're we're kind of? I mean, there's that's a that's a, a lot of timeline right there. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is n- yeah. nothing there suggests like, oh man, they're in such bad shape that the next the next thing it leads to is you know death and murder. I'm just curious, what are the what do you think their intentment was by saying an explosive argument? I mean, yeah, maybe it's just media being uh, media. I mean, was it an abrupt? Was it like an abrupt of uh, like anger? Was it like it just out of the blue? He just stood up and he was like, Rah, you know, uh, maybe they were drinking. It could be. I mean, you I know. never get, I never get violent when I'm when I'm drinking. I actually get very emotional when I start like. <sighs> <laughs> tears oh my god the tears <laughs> i go full and i'm like i mean look i'm gay i get it we sometimes get a little bit emotional i definitely get very emotional but like the alcohol it's just i'm just full on you know viva girl like i'm gone i need my chocolate and i need my hot tub and uh and bubbles and bu- oh my god and bubbles <laughs> thank you so I agree with you on this. I mean, there's nothing that's leading us to any kind of conclusion that like it was so bad that like there's people seeing them like beating each other up with bats in front of their camper. No one's saying this. It doesn't seem like there's any sign of murder motivation. I mean, unless I'm wrong, I just I don't see it. Well, we just don't have enough of that data. It's that's an obvious thing. I, we've said it so many times that we're we're hoping that as time progresses, more comes out. Uh, I want to know what that autopsy reveals. They refuse to reveal anything there. Uh, the sheriffs still are holding the body. Um, they're still running tests and trying to make a conclusion. Uh, they've already determined that it's a murder. It's a homicide, but uh, based, you know, that's great. You've made a determination. Can we see the facts now? Yes. That would be, that would be nice. Uh, mm-hmm. what, 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 what drew that conclusion? Did you find a weapon? Did you find stab wounds? Did you... They didn't find, uh, from what I was reading, they didn't find anything. I mean, seriously? Yeah. That's, that's I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say disappointing, but it's disappointing in, in, in all the reports that we're getting in that, you know, um, and that the the final conclusion is homicide, and yet we don't have enough physical evidence to uh, substantiate it. Um, I don't, you know, what can I say? Uh, you know, I'm not a detective, not a coroner, so. No. But still, <clears throat> I, I I have to I have to wonder if maybe here's, your theory if your theory is you know here here's the um, here's the interesting thing on September 23rd. The officials announced a federal arrest warrant for Brian was issued. Okay, so just to give you a wrap, a few days before the police seized his car, they conducted the autopsy. Uh, Sorry, okay, so they were conducting an autopsy in a body that they found. Then the FBI announces that it was Gabby's body. Then the coroner announces on September 21st, same day, that it was homicide. Then on September 22nd, they continue scouring the Carlton Reserve to find laundry. And like they have this whole team that's going on. And then like on September 23rd, federal arrest warrant. And then he's in Florida somehow with her vehicle. fascinating some something's you know I, I mean to to come out with a okay so an arrest warrant is an arrest warrant okay so what's the difference between just to give you guys an understanding a federal arrest warrant means that any police department any county any state highway patrol officers anyone is federally bound by our government to go after this guy so every single police department 
in this country is in a lookout for this guy. That's pretty serious. That is very serious. So the fact that he has not been found when, I mean, we have police officers. They exist. They exist in Tennessee and they exist in Florida. But also park rangers, too. They have the authority as well. Oh, yeah. And, and, oh, yeah. And he, he's been he's been already seen. We covered that in the le- you know last episode. He's been seen on the uh, uh, on the back trails of various parks. I mean, he, he's bound to get found. But, you know, maybe they're not looking hard enough. They're not looking in the right places because I think what he's doing is, you know what the old route is? No. Tell me. So, you ever heard of like uh, Route 66? Yeah. Route 704. So it used to be before we had highways, they were called routes. And uh, they kind of were just like a route. They were two two lanes, one going one way and one going the other way. That, that was it. It's just two lanes. And that's how people got around. I mean, it would take you a week to get to California because you'd have to like go around in circles and then kind of jimmy yourself back up. But there was a way of doing this. He could potentially be taking the old route. It exists in a lot of parts of the United States. We still have a route out over here. We have actually three. There's, um, there's uh, Route 202. Route 306, we have routes where I grew up in, so it's not unheard of to use these to get around. That could be an explanation as well. They're not easy to figure out. I mean, like, I understand what Route 202 and 306 is, but if you were here in Rockland, you'd get lost. It's confusing. And you know what? If he is using old routes, that means he's familiar with them, and chances are there isn't a whole lot of um, authority on those roads. I mean, it's just desolate for miles on end in either direction. No civilization. So why would any, uh, why would anybody be out there? Anybody within law enforcement be out on any of those roads? They would have no reason to be. Um, and so he he probably knows this. What was it that uh, Davis had said? You know. Like, hey, take the I forty. He's like, no, it's gonna, it's gonna keep trekking this way. Like, he knows, he knows where he's going. I'm surprised he's got a vehicle. Where the hell did he get the vehicle from? He's buying gas. How is he buying gas? He must have cash. How do he get the cash? I mean, um, it's so many questions. I don't know. I'm filled with them. So am I, but my bladder's kind of getting full. <laughs> I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, this has been uh, this has been really, really hard. Uh, not not just you know on the family and everyone. I mean, it's just how everything has been going on, and hopefully we can get more answers. Uh, one thing that we do, part of the Lawson Groove family, is to try to be a community where we can connect with you, and you guys connect with us. Please like comment. Like, I don't care how many cursors you got to use. Just put a comment. I promise you, me and Mike, will look at it. We'll kind of go over it. And we want to connect. Uh, this is the whole purpose of doing this. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.